very far away from here, Jeanette. It's where your real mommy lives. Okay, let's take a little breather here, okay? I'm five years old, just a week from my sixth birthday. I didn't know what to make of all this. Because up to this point of my life, I thought the Pharaohs were my real family. Why not? We did family things together. You know, shopping on Thursdays, after dinners on Tuesdays, r rated movies on Sundays, and the secret Jewish center every Saturday, like clockwork. But if this wasn't all real, was I real? And your real name is Jeanette Cox. Jeanette Cox? Who the heck is that? I didn't know her, and I didn't want to know her. So after a week later of nightmares, this barber lady shows up again. And I know at that moment, my life would never be the same. There was my brother. We were like twins. Oh my God, they have the same noses. They do look like brother and sister. Look, everyone was having a conniption about me. I was suddenly a stranger in a stranger's house. Oh my God, they look identical. That's my real brother? Yes, Jeanette, you both came from the same mommy. The same mommy? I looked around me. I wanted to yell, but I couldn't speak. I wanted to scream. Hello? Shine this 
floor like there's no tomorrow?
Okay, uh-huh. Now, I think that'll be enough for us today. I think we have enough to show the Kapatowski family. We'll let you know in a couple of days. We'll be having callbacks. And I'd like to thank you uh, for coming in today. Do you have any questions for us? Uh, yeah, uh, where are the Kapinskis live? Uh, the Kapatowski family lives in Wonton, Tom, from where you're staying now. Any other questions? Jeanette, the Kapatowskis are looking dots, so I will let them know how interested you are. Well, I'll just one more uh, thing. I'm going okay. to tie my own shoelaces. Thank you. And cut my own hair. Okay. Thanks. Nice. That's a wrap. Bye-bye now. Hello. Hello. Give me a chance. Hello. Hello. Maybe. my 
myself. What does this lady think she's doing to me? First, she's made tuna fish and that's the hard stuff on a whole wheat, just the way that I like it. Now she's trying to win me over by being all sweet and stuff. And it's not going to be that easy. I've been to other families before. I know what they're all about. They take you in like a Chevy and spit out like a pig. Maybe it'll be a good 
good idea if Diane shows you your room. My, I couldn't believe it. They were putting words in my head that I didn't like. Well, go on, go look at it. It's up the stairs and to the right. And I stomped up those stairs like a soldier. What do you think? Do you think you can stay over here tonight? I looked at Barbara. Who was she kidding? This was too good for me. I'm a foster kid, remember that? You think my foster money can pay for this? I think we'd better leave now, Barbara. The rent's gonna be too high here. And then Diane called to me. Oh, but Jeanette. And I knew it was over. Yes, I want you to know that as long as you want to stay here, you will never ever be asked to pay to get by. And she hugged me. All right, you know the drill. When I call your number, step forward, you understand? Number one, step forward. Turn to your right. Face forward. Turn to your left. Okay, so where were you last night? I don't know. You don't know? No. Nope. No. Weren't you at the Kapitowskis? No, I didn't want to. You didn't want to? Stay there. So you decided to run away? Why would you do a stupid thing like that? Because they're not well, let me tell you something, kid. You really have no choice here. This is a good family. They're going to take good care of you. There's no reason to run. Oh, yeah? Well, how do I know that? Because they're going to love you, kid. Oh, yeah? Well, how do I know they're not going to give me up like the last one or the one before that? You know, if nobody can take care of me, I'll take care of myself. I know that, kid, but you're going to have to trust me on this one. You're going to have to trust them and be strong. But I don't want to leave the Farrells because I love them. But they can't take care of you anymore. You're being given a second chance. I was bad, that's why. No, you weren't. They didn't fit. Well, I fixed! Let me tell you something, kid. Life doesn't always fit the way you want it to. You have a good thing here. You want to live on a street like a punk, or do you want to live in a nice house with a nice family? It's up to you. Now, do you think you can go back to the Kapitowskis and not run away? Because I don't want to have to lock you up. You know, you're a good kid. You got your whole life to look forward to. Do I have a choice? Trust me, kid. You're going to be okay. So that was it. I was adopted. And people looked at me different because somehow they knew I wasn't who I said I was. Hi, I'm Jeanette. Um, Kopinski? Um, 
the nerve to ask me. Do some of the ghosts who tend to run in your family, Jeanette? Uh, I don't know, but if you happen to find them, can you tell them where I am? And then in fourth grade, my white-haired, nose-picking teacher, Mrs. Turner, gives us a poster homework assignment. Do after winter vacation. One for you, mm, one for you, you. Mrs. Turner, you skipped me. Oh, but you are excused, Jeanette. I'm excused. Wow, I'm lucky. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> A family tree.
Not a bad one. Hmm. That night, I couldn't sleep a wink. I was so tired in school the next day, I couldn't even see the chalkboard. It was the longest day of my life. But I ran ten blocks back to Wallbound. <laughs> Let me tell you, it's not easy seeing in the dark. But I was determined to keep looking <laughs> I'm 16 years old now, and I feel sexy. I'm going to be in the St. Williams Catholic Center lip sync contest tonight, and I'm going to win that damn contest if it's the last thing I do, because I'm going to show them all of me, parts they've never seen of me. Cause I'm not hiding anymore. I'm gonna be somebody. They're all gonna be so shocked when they see me, they're not gonna believe it. I'm gonna get all the guys and then all the girls jealous. I can't wait. God, I feel so good right now. I mean, I've never felt this good in my entire life. I really feel like somebody. I'm going to get a 10 on originality, a 10 on appearance, and a 10 on sick. I just know it. Because I'm so good at it. And it's easy to me. It's because I look like her, too. We even dance the same way. <laughs> I know every move she does. I saw her on TV, and she said she had a dream, but so do I. She came to New York because she wanted to dance, she wanted to sing, she wanted to do all these things, and she wanted to be happy. Well, that's exactly what I want. I swear, if we ever met, we'd have best friend shirts. I just know it. It's because she never really had a mom either. That's why we'd be so close. Because she has like the same insides like me only. She's famous. Still, I'm gonna be just like her. I'm gonna dress like her, wear my hair like hers, and I know exactly how she wears it, like this. You see? <laughs> it's because we're like the same person. God, I feel so happy right now. I can finally be somebody. I better hurry up. Like Marilyn, Marilyn Monroe. She was adopted too. I'm gonna be her for Halloween next year. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. Dye my hair. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Oh. Watch out. 
I'm 19 and I've decided to be an actress. And my stage name is Maxine Clark. My mother seems to think it sounds like a maxi pad. <laughs> but I happen to love it. Maxine Clark. So far, I've been on about 300 auditions and 40 plays and 10 student films. I'm not kidding. I audition for everything. And I always get cast in something. Because I'm good at it. You know, being other people. I'm a chameleon and everybody knows it. But at first, I was having trouble deciding what I wanted to be. Because at first, I wanted to be an FBI agent. You know, solving the problem, solving the case. This is Agent 9 of what seems to be the trouble, boys? Uh huh, uh huh. I see, I see. All right. This is what we do, Jim. Both the back doors of the K47 above. Help Agent Hatchet latchkey that dead back door. And Joe, stand by me for assistance. And let's get this. <laughs> Maxine Clark. Sorry, I just... 
just lost it there for a second. You know what? Um, I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't need your bottle of joy. <laughs>
It's like ten blocks long. So I said, listen, lady, I'm in the middle of a catharsis here, okay? I need that microfilm now. I don't have time to wait on your silly lines or fill out your silly cards. So you know what? You better get over there and get it for me yourself, or else this might turn into something ugly. <sighs>
must be 20, 50, 3, 2, how old? Oh, wow. Did your teacher tell you why I'm here today? Did she say that? That's right. And today, I'm going to introduce to you Mr. Felix. And he has something very important to tell you about his trip to New York City. One day, Felix went to New York City to keep on home, and he said, Shh. So he said, me, I'm over here. It's me, and I want to talk to you. Jeanette, you know, the one you've been talking about all night. I'm here to tell you something. What do you mean? I'm here to tell you it's time to be happy. your name. 